I'm running on four hours sleep, but I'm heading off to Bordeaux for the next couple days with Cordley, so it's going to be wonderful. I'm heading to their chateau where they have like a spa and apparently an insane restaurant and I've been wanting to go here for literally years. So it's fair to say that I am very excited. But my car's picking me up in 35 minutes, so let's get dressed. And I think I'm gonna ditch the outfit I laid out last night and wear something else so tricky. I'm dressed and I'm feeling a bit more alive. I just need to finish packing up my suitcase. I have a very weird airport outfit on, so I'm wearing a silk skirt from Reformation, a little black turtleneck, my blazer, my sambas, and then my bag. It does feel quite dressy for 4am, but at the same time, I'm going straight from the airport to lunch. I do have a top on underneath that's like appropriate to take off and then, you know, be a bit more chill for lunch. But at the same time, I was like, I don't actually know know what to wear also my hair's looking a bit better than it was i could have done with straightening it but then i feel like i can't then put my straightener straight in my suitcase that's a bit of a problem but is it a big problem in the grand scheme of things not really so i'm just gonna pack everything else up into my suitcases because i am taking two I'm taking my new ramoa and i'm taking my carry-on ramoa that way i can take like my camera my tripod my blanket and fit everything in okay i'm gonna get my head down and get everything in the case now this is the luggage for literally two nights but i am ready to go my driver has just pulled up so let's head downstairs and get in the car and go to Gatway which means I get a nice sleep. in my room we just finished up a lovely lunch and i just had a small very brief tour of the chateau but oh my goodness it's beautiful i've literally just got into my room though so shall we do a little bit of a room tour i haven't even had really an opportunity to look around i've literally just grabbed my camera and i'm like shall we do it together so this is my beautiful room over here we have some snacks coffee the door's actually behind this curtain which i think is really cool my suitcase Ooh, we have some fruit and some cakes we have some cordly products and then i have a little terrace which is so sweet you can kind of see look the grounds out there it is so whimsical and then we have the bathroom Ooh, again we have some lovely cordly products <gasps> It's so good. Oh, also one of my favorites. Ooh, never tried this, but I love this. And this is the lovely bathroom where I have a bath and we have a bath tonight. So I feel like I've not really explained why I'm here, what I'm doing. So I'm here with Cordley and they are a still family owned and run company. So I'm pretty sure it's one of the sisters that owns this hotel. And yeah, it's just like the Cordley world. So this afternoon we're going to do wine tasting because if you don't know much about Cordley, basically their whole brand is centered around grapes. And I believe they told me the cordly, the word cordly, is a measure of something to do with wine and taste. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure I'll find out this afternoon, but they are one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. And I have been wanting to come to this hotel for so long. It's been on my bucket list. So I'm very excited to be here. I'm looking a bit disheveled from the plane. And I think what I'm going to do now, I've got like an hour and a half of free time, which is great. So I'm going to go have a look around the grounds, go for a little walk and then get ready because we have wine tasting. Also, I thought this changed the vlogs up a little bit. It's quite nice, isn't it? To be out of the house and somewhere different. It's very strange. Obviously I've got someone there house sitting for me, but I'm like, oh, it feels so soon to have left the house. I mean, I've known that I'm going on this trip for quite a while. So I always knew it was going to happen. But now I'm here, I'm like, oh, I have a home to go home to. I don't know, it's a great feeling. Gosh, my hair's giving little lad, isn't it? I've just had a shower and gotten ready because we are going wine tasting. Now, you know I'm not the biggest drinker, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to like participate in, but either way, I'm really keen to learn all about kind of the heritage of the brand and this is a huge part of it, so should be really good. I've just got changed, but let's head off. Guys, how beautiful is this? So my room's in here, the gym and the indoor pool are in there. And then this is like the main chateau where the reception is and where we came in. And then I don't know what's in there, maybe some more rooms. 
but how beautiful is this and then down here there's an outdoor pool oh my goodness it's so beautiful i'm having one of those like how is this real moments this is so beautiful and it's so warm i was really hoping we get some nice weather but i didn't think it was gonna happen it's like 27 degrees but it is like autumn sun you know that feeling it becomes different but it's just nice to be in a t-shirt not being cold All the product on display. So they have the skincare, the wine. Look at all this. I wonder what I can get to take home. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I definitely have to get something for my kitchen. This is so insanely impressive. So I'm heading off to dinner. This is my little outfit of the night. She's got my little Chanel ballet flats, my same skirt from earlier, cute little brandy top, and my Jeff Avenue blazer. And then I'm wearing my little black velvet Chanel, but let's go. just back from dinner and look what was in my room by the way dinner was so good it was i'm going to show you but it was chicken and then we had these insane potatoes that were very much like the potatoes at royer actually and then for pudding we had chocolate malt lava cake so in here we have a trip elderflower and mint we have Ooh, what's this? The French Beauty Solution. Oh, it's by Mathilde, who's the founder of Cordly. I've actually met Mathilde. She's very, very lovely. Oh my goodness, it's a pink Pangaea jumper. Okay, I love, I'm into anything pink. It's my color of the moment. Hasn't it been far too long? Says tonight's vibes equal fresh sweats, nourishing skincare, hotel bed. Sorry we made you get, get up at 5 a.m. Your evening wind down is on us. And what's this? Ooh, an under eye mask. Oh, perfect. I think I'm gonna run myself a bar, put this under eye mask on and just have a really lovely chilled evening. We finished dinner and everything and it's still only 9.30. So I've got a bit of time. My hair needs a wash, but I'm gonna wait until tomorrow because I have a facial and then I'm gonna come back and do like the big shower and like wash my hair and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna run a bath right now and sit and watch YouTube in the bath. I'm feeling very fulfilled and satisfied. All the girls here are lovely. There's so many girls that I know quite well. And then there's a couple of girls that I've like really wanted to get to know a bit better. And it's just such a relief when you meet people in real life and they are just the same as you like thought they would be. So yes, very, very good. Let's run a bath. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Ooh, shall I use my uh, shower gel? I'm having one of those days where I'm so tired, but I'm just not ready for my day to end. You know those days where you're like, no, I'm actually having a really good time. But I think I might hang my dress up that I've got for tomorrow night. This, this little gorgeous reformation piece. I did want to get it altered before I wore it, but I didn't have time. And you know, sometimes you just have to accept that it is what it is. And then I'm going to wear this one that you saw me pack tomorrow daytime because we are actually going into Bordeaux, which will be so good. I'm just really sad about the hole that I caused in it. I mean, watch me not be able to find the hole now, which would be actually, oh no, it's right there. I was gonna say that would be much preferred, but I'm sure I'll be able to get that sewn up. It's just a bit frustrating, but if there's nothing I can do about it, I'm not gonna worry, you know? I did bring another really lovely white dress, but I don't know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. I think it's going to be more this weather. Also, I wore that other dress in Barcelona two weeks ago, so really I should wear the other one. Good morning, my room service has just been delivered and it's coming a handbag. I love this. This is just so cute. Maybe I'll put it on the table there and we'll open it. I was gonna do it on there, but this feels a bit nicer. I kind of love it. Oh my goodness. So the, the knives and forks are all up the side. We have a little bakery basket here. Can you see? This is the little bakery basket. And then we have Oh, is this a scrambled egg? We 
we have yogurt we have my coffee which looks surprisingly like hot chocolate <laughs> i think this is jams yes we have cute little jams oh these will look freshly made <gasps> Salmon, yay! And there's even a plate in there so I can plate everything up. How sweet. I just think this is really cool. That's my scrambled egg. Those are some of the best croissants I've had in the longest time. I mean, of course, I'm in France. But here's my plan of action. We have a Pilates class at 11. It's currently 10.20 and I need to warm up in some capacity, but it's raining out there. I don't know how well we'll be able to see, but it's very gray and very rainy. So I can't actually go for a walk. So I'm gonna go to the gym and go and walk on the treadmill and finish off my admin for the morning on the treadmill for just 20 minutes and then I feel like I'll be way more prepped for the class just right now I'm so cold my knees hurt and just know I'm at the point where it's like I don't really want to work out so I need to like ease myself in a little bit so let's go to the gym this. this is where we're doing parties I love that it's pink we're gonna do a last one inhale feel so good after that. I've just got back to the room and there are some goodies that I believe were for the workout, but I must have run back in after going for my little warm up, grabbed my bits and not even looked at what was on the bed. So we have some new balance trainers. <gasps> are they pink? Oh my goodness, I love. These are so cool. I specifically remember my mum having a pair like this. They must have been A6 or A6, I don't know how you say it. Are these A6? Yeah, they look perfect. And she used to have, oh no, they might be the new balance and they were like this, but they were blue and they were just perfect but wow this is so exciting i'm so gonna wear those with like a chunky knit some cute little shorts for like an autumnal transition look and then we have some of these i don't know how you pronounce this this brand it's b-a-l-a -A. please let me know in the comments i have these actually i think i have exactly these ones or are the pink ones no the pink ones that i have are from amazon but i have these in black and these are the ones that i actually use to do my bar classes so i'm very excited to have a second pair this is gonna go in my gym at my house i was actually in the room doing the pilates and obviously you saw how beautiful it was and i was like wow i need to like take some inspo from this i love the mats the mats were actually this brand as well they had like a rounded end and i was like ooh, that could work really well in the gym but what color do i do because i can't do pink in my gym because my gym's like terracotta so i'm thinking maybe like a beige but then it's not gonna get dirty oh no i can't open this <gasps> journal cards that's so cute and we also have some feel pro collagen i've never heard of this brand this is really cool what flavor is this strawberry peach Ooh, i'm gonna try that once i finish my current bottle of water but yes yeah, some lovely lovely goodies and a really lovely pilates class i really like the teacher as well so i mean it always helps doesn't it when you <laughs> when you have someone that like you're like, wow, you're really, really good. I think it just encourages you. But we have lunch in about 40 minutes. So until then, I am going to tidy up my room a little bit and smash out some more work because this afternoon I have my facial. I'm going to go and explore the grounds a bit more. So I'm going to smash everything out now. And then, yeah, it's just, this is like rest, rejuvenate, you know, fill my fill your cup weekend. I might actually go for a little swim. There's an indoor and an outdoor pool. I feel like it would be a shame to go in the indoor pool. But the problem is the outdoor pool is the other end of the hotel whereas the indoor pool's there <laughs> I'll, I'll assess at lunch i'll see if anyone wants to uh go for a swim got myself a little lemon water and i'm just waiting for my treatment but look this is the outdoor pool i was talking about let me show you look at this how magical even when the sun goes behind a cloud it's still so magical i keep saying to everyone i'm like it was so quick to get here from london i have to come back and there's even a little sun deck but they were saying that the hotel books up so quickly so i feel like it's the type of thing you have to book in advance and i think there's like a hot tub over there i can see some of the girls in there but how magical i feel like i should give you a little pre and post treatment so this is how my skin looks before i'm like i don't even know where the lights are good but this is what it looks like before the treatment Guys, look at this view outside of the spa. This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> off 
after dinner. Look at this view. Oh, it's so peaceful. <laughs> Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in Bordeaux. Cloudy, but stunning nonetheless. Look at this. I literally had the best sleep of my whole entire lifetime. I don't know if you can hear my voice. I've been up for a while. I just haven't spoken to anyone. But yeah, oh my gosh, I slept like an absolute log. I've woken up this morning and stepped out to this. It's just beautiful. But I want to get ready for the day. We actually leave today, which is really sad. So I need to get my bits together, pack my suitcase and just all things like that. And I want to have another the last like walk around you know what my skin looks great after the facial yesterday i don't know if you can tell because of the lighting in this room but i woke up and i walked into the bathroom and i was like wow why do i look like a glazed donut and then i was like oh yeah i had a facial yesterday and you know what there's nothing more satisfying than knowing you've done something really good for yourself and actually then seeing the result but i am just going to get ready if i ran out of this serum maybe a month ago and obviously with the chaos of moving I haven't really had the chance to repurchase I actually thought I got one in that you know I had the bag of things like new things of my favorite products I really thought I had this serum and the night cream I, I don't know where the night cream is I opened it it was on the desk out there so basically called the cut well, mainly color code there like skincare, I don't know, collection. So like you've got the pink one, which will be for like moisturizing, or you've got the green one that's for like anti-blemish. And you then can have like the whole corresponding set, which firstly I love just for like ease of using product. But everyone loves the pink one. As in, this is not the pink one, but everyone loves the pink one. And as much as I really do like the pink one, it's super moisturizing. I actually way prefer this one. Like this serum, and I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like the day cream, but obviously day to day, I'm usually wearing makeup. And then night cream under makeup is just absolute insanity but i do still really like it but yeah i ran out of this oh my goodness so long ago and the smell is so nostalgic i think i bought it at sephora but yeah if you're looking for a skincare combo and you're super like low maintenance with your skincare but you want to try something that you're going to see a difference do the serum and the night cream together it's not a thick heavy night cream but i just i mean you can try the day cream go into a store go into like a department store and try them both out i just felt the consistency of that one but i'm also absolutely not putting makeup on today i am literally just gonna go for a wander around and then we fly home so now today i've just finished packing up all my things and i always try and put any rubbish that i leave that doesn't fit in the bin in like one space in a hotel room or i feel awful i just can't like, i want them to walk in and be like okay that makes sense that's the rubbish they're the like I even put the towels in one place. I would usually put them in the bath, but the bath was wet and I was like, oh, I don't want them to have to touch like wet towels. But yes, I am all packed up. I am going to go and meet all the girls for lunch, which is going to be really lovely. And then we have the afternoon to chill. So I think I have like 20 minutes for lunch. I'm going to go for a little wander. I'll show you around. There's a whole other section of rooms. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. How is this real? So I think the pool's in there. Oh. <gasps> I think it's just so like whimsical and magical. Oh, there is like an outdoor terrace here. And then that's the indoor pool. Oh, I'm so coming back here. Look at this. This is where we did the wine tasting the other day. It's a little windy, so I don't know how well you can hear me, but it's just such a magical place. And then like looking out over on that back. I'm trying to basically do a lap of everywhere that I haven't been yet, just so I feel like I've seen everything, but I already know I'm going to come back. You know when you just go somewhere and you're like, wow, that is exactly the kind of place that I want to run away to if I just wanted a weekend? So, look at this. Isn't that just unbelievable? <laughs> I'm home. I can't even explain to you how amazing it was walking into this house and being like, I'm home! Honestly, the best thing. And it's been left immaculate, which is just the best feeling. I think it, it speaks volumes when someone comes into your home and just like leaves it as they find it. I just think that says so much about the people that, you know, you trust your things with. But anyway, came home to a mango parcel. I have been trying to get this one skirt from Mango for so long. I saw it in store and they didn't have my size. And I'm really into wearing these like maxi skirts at the moment. And not even just for like evenings out, like actually like day to day, I really like them. And saw this one and I, I like them to like feel like they're gonna hang nicely. And this one just honestly felt stunning, but it's been out of stock for so long. As in like, as soon as it comes in, it goes out. So 
It's from Mango and it's part of their selection range, which I don't really know much about, but it's nice. But yeah, I am thinking I should have ordered the top that they style it with because I don't actually know what I'm going to wear with this. It's cream more than it's like white. Well, yeah, it's like that yellowy, creamy color. Oh, it's so stunning. And it's just the most simple, basic skirt, but please tell me they've sent the right size. But it's low waist, it hangs full length, and I just thought with a really sweet knit, this would be absolutely perfect. So I will try that on in the morning. And then I've also got this skirt. This is also from their selection range. Mango do the best mini skirts ever, and they actually fit me. They don't have to get them altered. So I saw this and just thought, wow, this is stuns. So if this fits, this will be really, really lovely. But that is all I got. Not an excessive haul. There is another skort that I really want that, again, just keeps going out of stock. So I haven't had any luck but I thought this was really nice. I don't know how much this one was, but I thought this was really nice. But yeah, I, there's no point in me trying them on now because I am just very disheveled from uh, the traveling. But yeah, it was just the craziest feeling walking back into the house. Like, mom, <laughs> like, what? And I have one more parcel. I placed this order. Ah, uh, it was at like 1 a.m., 1 night when I couldn't sleep. I shouldn't do that. I don't do that. But I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness. It's a robe. I really hope it fits because it's a kid's size. I didn't like the prints and the adults ones as much. And I just thought, well, hopefully if I get the biggest kid's size, it will fit me. Or like, I mean, I want it to fit small. I want it to be like the Love Shack fancy one. But I just thought this was nicer because it was from, you know, a smaller, more independent company. And okay, wait, let's see what we think to the sizing. Oh yes, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Tell me this isn't the most adorable robe you've ever seen. I'm pretty sure you can wear it. Yeah, you can wear it inside out. This pocket's either side. And I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. I love the floral print. I love the stripe. It's making me want to do my bathroom in a floral wallpaper even more. But yeah, I'm sure this is going to be absolutely perfect. I want it to be short anyway. It was the arms I was worried about, but I'll try it on in the morning and we'll see. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. And just one of those, those pieces that I don't ever see myself getting rid of. I just, I saw it. And you know, when you see something and you're like, wow, that's beautiful. And it also came in this gorgeous dust bag. It feels very special. But I am just going to drink my cup of tea, unpack and head off to bed. So I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I had the most wonderful time with Cordley and all the girls that were there were absolutely lovely. It it was just such a lovely, relaxing, rejuvenating trip. I'm looking for a hair bobble. I've definitely, there we go, got one. And yeah, I'm just really, just so incredibly grateful that my job includes things like that because it can be difficult to meet people that do the same thing as you. And I got to spend some time, like quality time with some really lovely girls. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did and you made it this far, this far, <laughs> this far, a thumbs up goes a long way. And I will see you bright and early in the morning. I will update you as well a little bit on what the vlogs are looking like because they are going to have to come to a close but don't worry i'm not gonna just like do it out of the blue it will uh there's a plan so you don't miss anything but anyway i'll see you bright and early in the morning good night